Agriculture is a big industry in Arkansas. Irrigation is a, is a big part of that. We produce more rice than any state in the country. And in order to continue doing that, we've got to have a sustainable supply of water. Over the years, we've seen our declining uh, levels of groundwater, and we've recognized that we have to have solutions beyond just pulling water out of the ground. This is one of the primary solutions that's been identified as part of the state's water plan. And when this project's implemented, it'll take a big chunk out of the groundwater overdraft that we have here in the state and make sure our agriculture producers have a sustainable supply of water. Years and years of planning to get to this point. Uh, 50 years ago, there was a recognition of a need for a project like this. We've had local leadership with the irrigation district for more than 40 years, educating people on the nature of the problem and that this is a viable solution. So today is really a landmark day for us and that we're gonna be beginning construction on the canals to deliver water to the farmers here. United States Army Corps of Engineers uh, first became a part of this project back in 1996 when it was authorized by Congress for federal investment and construction. Uh, and since then, we've been partnering with the White Irrigation District, the state of Arkansas, and the, the com local community uh, to deliver about $214 million uh, worth of construction that has got us to where we are today. It is extremely important to the Corps of Engineers because you know our vision statement is to engineer solutions to the nation's toughest challenges. And aquifer depletion, groundwater depletion, uh, and, and how we handle that resource is in fact now and in the future are going to be one of the nation's toughest challenges. So anything we can do today to demonstrate uh, how uh, all the resources that we already have, river water, can be used to uh, stop the depletion of an aquifer, I think are very important and are going to be an example for how this can be handled in other parts of the nation uh, in the future. Well, the significance is uh, about 40 years worth of toil and tears and and uh, a, lot of, a lot of money that's already been uh, sunk into construction and a pump station pipelines and a reservoir down the way. All, all we need is a way to uh, take the water across the prairie, which is going to be canals with pipelines. And this is the first uh, construction contract to move dirt to build those canals and start the pipelines to take it to the farmer's fields. The contractor's looking for about uh, six months, six to eight months of good weather, which uh, would put him in the farmer's category right now. Um, he estimates, I think it's 16 months, I believe, is on this first contract. But uh, during that 16 months, we're going to be working on the plans and issuing, taking bids and issuing the contracts for the next phase. So the, the uh, actual construction and the, and the um, initiation of the next segment will be overlapping each other all the way all the way down as far as uh, did I ever have any doubts uh, I was here with the woodpecker I was here in 2000 whenever we kicked this thing off uh, and before that uh, I've been on here a long time we actually got to the point where this is our last charge we've been on here too long we're either gonna do it or we're going home and um, we're still here